hello libra welcome back to the channel spiritual barbie here so i'm here to do your monthly april 2022 sorry 2022 love and spirituality reading so you guys remember to give this video a like comment down below about your situation if you want to and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so or if that's something that you have been wanting to do all right What does April have in store for Libra in their love life? Okay, so Libra, I see that you guys had some independence in the past. You were being on your own, you were taking care of yourself, and so was your person. And then, you know, you guys got a call from spirit to reconnect. Um, you stepped into your divine feminine energy, or they did, or, you know, you saw them as divine feminine. They saw you as divine feminine. But you guys came into embracing yourself loving this person you couldn't deny the love that you guys had for your person and they couldn't deny the love that they had for you because they went through a profound spiritual experience where the truth was shown to them rendered to them okay made sh uh, made obvious to them and then a burden that they were carrying was is being released and then this person stepped into their comfort zone and realized that they don't need to be uncomfortable that they don't need to be anxious or paranoid or dealing with that sort of energy they, they reclaim their peace this connection got some peace and separation from people you know physical separation it's like you guys got away from folks got independent from people even that maybe you were around before so now i'm seeing a home situation being worked on diligently and consistently right now in april you guys are working on your living situation your material prosperity your finances your career but it's because of a home situation. It's also because of health, but it's because of a home situation. And it's like you guys are embracing your love that you have for each other through this through this work and this effort. It's like you guys are seeing the value of just loving another person and just your, yourselves as individuals. As you guys work on whatever you're working on, you guys will understand the true value of who you are and of your love so you guys are working on this relationship this person is working for this relationship and on it and so are you and um there's going to be some changes going on some physical movement um physical changes material changes rather that you guys are going to experience you know there's also a taurus virgo capricorn man or woman okay taurus energy also scorpio energy that's showing up here but the scorpio is an energy the scorpio energy might be going out but also some of you guys the scorpio energy is coming in and it's extremely truthful and honest and loving and forthright but i see here that there's a taurus virgo capricorn energy that could be coming in okay some of you guys sun moon rising with this person or maybe it's your sun moon or rising um and this person is signifying this change and bringing in this movement and you're you guys are seeing this movement through this person I feel like this person might be like same sex, so they might be a female, okay? But this person, um, taking a look at this person, some of you guys, you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn as a woman that maybe you didn't really like, but you're working on embracing yourself fully and loving yourself because I feel like this person wronged you. But you're going to understand this person. You're confused about this person. You're going to understand them, okay, in April. So there's love from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn man or woman that's loving and sweet. There's also another Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're confused about. You guys are working on your home, your finances, nurturing each other as well. Um, really, really valuing one another. 
So I'm seeing you guys get some recognition in the near future. This connection is going to get some major recognition from others, especially, you know, you guys spending time with each other. Things are going to start to work out. And you guys are going to cut ties with beating down on yourself. So is this person around not feeling good enough. You guys were trapped in someone else's trauma, perhaps a Scorpio's trauma, Pisces trauma, Cancer's trauma. And this Cancer traumatizes you um, away from feeling, making you feel bad about yourself. You guys are going to release yourself from this trauma and um, love yourself no matter what. You guys are facing a deep inner child wound as well. But it has to do with communication and separation. A lot of you guys were wounded around separation. You know, someone um, wounded you around the, the topic or the idea of separation and made you feel like separation was a bad thing or, you know, that somebody that you love could ever separate from you. You know, and this was this crazy water sign person that she was dealing with bipolar disorder. She was dealing with heavy emotions. She was also manipulating your emotions, other people's emotions. And so um, she, that's how she did it, was through making people sad. She's going out of your life. You're experiencing separation from this person, okay? I feel like you guys are separating, especially if this is a group of three water sign people, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, women, right? You guys are turning your back on these folks and embracing how you truly feel about them. And this connection is gonna get some recognition. You guys are, are like, it's like you guys ch are changing the way you speak to each other and speak about one another. Okay, especially to yourselves and speak about yourselves to yourselves so your person is doing the same thing and you guys are going to be embracing your love for each other fully feeling your feelings and not um, for once and for all and not questioning them not wondering whether or not you have a right to feel them you dealt with someone or a group of people who made you feel like you're you didn't have a right to feel your feelings okay you didn't even have a right to so I feel like there was someone around you perhaps even a mother figure or somebody who, yeah, like a mother figure. It doesn't have to be your mother. But she just made you feel like it wasn't fair for you to feel your feelings for your person. Your person was also dealing with this person. Perhaps this, yeah, this was a woman who was trying to make your person feel like you were not real. Like you were fake. You know, this person was just working really hard to drag down your character to your person. And this person, they got MS. This person has multiple sclerosis. They also have, some, some of them have diagnoses of AIDS, cancer you name it so on and so forth i'm seeing i'm seeing leukemia in my mind's eye so someone has leukemia um but they need to deal with their blood their emotions and so they put stuff on other people but you guys could just feel your feelings these people made you feel bad about feeling crazy about them and you know they hid in the they hid under the veil of being a water sign so they were supposed to um be teaching you how to feel your feelings and they were but they didn't realize that they were actually hurting themselves this connection the love is growing but you guys couldn't really love on each other, okay? Because there was some woman around you guys that was hurting you. And you guys are going to stop um, seeking recognition from folks who traumatized you and start to deal with your own feelings, okay? And so you guys are going to get some recognition, though. This person is going to recognize you. They're going to get recognition from other people for their efforts. And um, you're going to get some recognition as well, okay, from this person and from other people. Because I feel like this person already got recognition from you. So your love life, you're cutting ties with depressed folks. Some covert narcissist is leaving your life. Okay? A covert narcissist is leaving your life. She was draining. She was so draining. And manipulative. And condescending. And fake. So now on to the spiritual life. <laughs> your spirituality in, and this happenings in your spirit in April for Libras here. Okay, you guys are going to get back the upper ground. You were dealing with spiritual attack, negativity, somebody trying to bum rush you, somebody knocked you down. You're going to get back your courage for yourself and you're going to get back your chutzpah. You guys are going to see some protection. You know, spirit is going to be protecting you from someone who's trying to wrong you and getting you back your upper ground in a situation that you didn't realize even that you were knocked down. Some of you guys, you realize and then you got, you're getting back up in every way. Spirit's going to pick you back up. And so you're not going to be 
I'm wavering. You could be dealing with people who might could be trying to knock you down type shit because they're they're going to be denying it. That's why we say might could be da da da. That's why I say maybe because when you're asking them this, when you go through the month, you're going to understand why a lot of the readings they go maybe perhaps because they're such liars. When you um ask them about what they're doing, they're going to be like no, but then you're feeling like they're doing it. So you're going to be feeling like maybe these people you're dealing with folks who are energy vampires trying to knock you down. The spirit's protecting you. And you guys are getting back your upper spirit, your spirit, you know, to not let these folks even come in and make you sad or come in and tear you down or whatever. Like, but it's like you can't stop these folks, but perhaps it's like where you're at. But ultimately, I just see them getting knocked down and you getting back your upper ground in your own life, getting back your immune defenses. So you guys are grounding down, okay? You're going to have some earth sign come in and this person will heal your connection to earth. You will feel like earth really moves for you. And it's through this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, man or woman coming in to your life. A fire sign might be the one knocking you down, but it might not be. It might be that a fire sign already knocked you down and you're getting back the upper ground. So that's just, just in case you're wondering about the sign of that person. Aries, Leo, Sag. So, um, you know, there's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in, consistent, being normal, being who they are, loving, sweet, kind, amazing. And this person is strengthening your faith and spirituality. You're going to be just feeling like Earth speaks to you because of this person. They have a connection to you that's unlike any other. And you guys are going to go through a profound experience that is going to connect you deeper to spirit once and for all. And you're going to finally cut ties with someone in some situation that a uh, hearing rebirth that was keeping you away from spirit and trying to be like, stay, it was just alive and they were disconnecting you from spirit. So this coming away from you, this person dying, this situation dying, this um, connection ending in your life, you coming away from them, whatever, is going to make it so your connection with spirit is deeper and you have more abundance, but also you have a rebirth. The main thing is that you are getting a rebirth. Happiness is ensuing. Oh my gosh. Happiness. Someone is a sucker for you, Libra. <laughs> Someone is a sucker for you. He, this person would follow you anywhere. Mm. So you guys are getting back the upper ground. You guys need to know that somebody misses you. You can reach out, especially if you know this person. They can, You can reach out to them. They miss you. And maybe you were dealing with folks that told you that he didn't want you. They were just jealous because he didn't want them. <laughs> so you can trust your intuition. What you are sensing is spot on. I feel like you guys kind of get scared and then you withdraw from this person because there's someone plotting and there's someone getting a diagnosis of cancer, HIV, AIDS. A lot of people around you got HIV, AIDS when you met this person because they were trying to sleep with this person. So they just need to get diagnosed really quick. It was already inside of them, but then they needed to get the diagnosis really quick and show the signs and symptoms and stuff so they could back off fully. And so they can know that if they come near your person, they're going to get sued and stuff like that. Because you guys, this person, they, perhaps these people were trying to sleep with your person because they're going to deny it, right? <laughs> perhaps they were trying to sleep with your person, Libra, and um, this person denied it or turn, turned them down. This Taurus Virgo Capricorn turned them down. And then they're going to be trying to, they're scared, you know, because, you know, they were trying to give him a disease and now they're going through some heavy shit. Some karmics are going through heavy shit around you. They blocked you from your spirituality. Ooh, rashes, rashes. I'm feeling a rash. I'm also feeling like somebody got diabetes. Perhaps somebody has diabetes in your life or in your love life. Perhaps even this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, maybe this person got diabetes. Um, so you guys, you guys um, are going to acknowledge and learn from the past, heal as well. This person was from your past. And you're just going to learn from it. And there's a transformation going on because your spiritual path is being illuminated to you and being illuminated, period. Through this transformation, something, this is so positive and so amazing. This is so positive. It's just like your complete confidence coming back. Like, you guys always had the victory. You always knew what was going on. You were always right. But you were around someone in particular, a water sign. Um, I'm definitely picking up on a Scorpio. It could have even been a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, once again, they could have even been working together. But these people or this person, they knocked you down, okay? And they blocked you from trusting in yourself. You're going to get your health back. If you feel like you were not healthy, you're going to get it back. But um, they blocked you from trusting in yourself because they were trying to work against you. They were manipulating you and lying to you. And they stole your faith. They didn't realize that they were stealing your faith. So spirit got involved. <laughs> yep. 
and then you and these people were always trying to get you not to do certain things did you did you hear that that is divine synchronicity you guys these people were always trying to get you not to do certain things they're trying to hinder you store thwart you suppress you so then they just got suppressed <laughs> so you're dying that part of you that is scared to try new things that is scared that oh maybe they won't acknowledge me maybe you dealt with people who knocked your confidence it was a fire sign as well you know you just dealt with folks who knocked your confidence that got their confidence knocked right down you know they got their confidence knocked right down so you guys you were dealing with hearsay gossip gossip mongers liars splitters and they were splitting you up from your christianity your faith your belief system and you guys are coming away from these folks Okay, and you're going to have a complete and utter spiritual rebirth and transformation. So yes, just in case if you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. All right, talk to you guys soon.